Welcome back, everybody, at 923. Continuing our conversation with Commissioner Michael Thompson from DPS just about the Real ID Act, what this means for our state. A lot of people chimed in on this. So let's get to our first uh, viewer question. Bobby DeVore wants to know, what's the difference between the ones we have now versus the one the government wants us to have? Talking about licenses. Sure. Uh, you know that the difference is it's going to be a different, total different license from what you have currently now because we're going to go to a new design that makes it capable for us to mark this license as a real ID compliant license. Or if you choose not to, to have a license that's not, uh, that's marked not for federal use. So that system change is what is part of the expense that we're having. So um, that, I hope that answers that question. Okay, so state compliant versus federally compliant will be two different visuals for yeah, you there. The, the license will be basically, the, it will be different than what we have now, but the license that we will get once we get the new system going, uh -huh. uh, it will be real ID compliant or non-real ID. And those appearances of those will be very similar, except one will be marked real ID compliant and the other will not. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Linda Tanner asks, what exactly will it take to get it, to get your to get your new license? What documents do you need to bring with you? Where do you go? That sort of thing. Sure. Uh, we are going to, um, we back and forth with the legislation. So there's 35 places in Oklahoma Department of Public Safety where you can come and bring your documents to have your documents verified. But we're also going to have a partnership with our tag agencies and we're going to do training with them to train them to look at your documents also. And that's one of the big pieces between what we're doing now and what we're moving forward to with Real ID Compliance is verifying the documents because we want to make sure, like I said previously, that the person that's holding that license is really that person. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie wrote in and asked, what does this mean for voting or registering to vote? You know, Does that affect that for us? I don't, you might have stumped me on that one. Uh, I don't know if it has any effect whatsoever on our ability to vote. Okay, well, we'll look into it and we'll check back in with you on okay. that. And then, you know, lastly, also want to touch on the Department of Public Safety. Y'all have had a lot of budget cuts. You know, I think six million dollars slashed from 2016 to 2017. That's right. Talk to us about what this means for y'all moving forward. I imagine that means fewer troopers out there, fewer deputies out on the road trying to keep us safe. But kind of talk me through. Well, what I'm that really means. glad you. Uh, we're not at a crisis uh, by any means, okay. but the Highway Patrol as we sit here today is smaller than it was in 1990. And uh, the state of Oklahoma has had tremendous growth. We've gained off almost a million people in population and we've added four term pikes, but the Highway Patrol just hasn't kept pace with the needs of the state. Uh, as I sit here today, I think our number is at 794 troopers. Um, 1990, we had 825. And we just need the ability to have funding to uh, have a patrol school in 2018 so we can do the things that we need to do for the state of Oklahoma. And I know a lot of state agencies are expecting more cuts this year. Same for DPS or? or you know, I didn't not. mean to interrupt you. We no, kind no, of no, took it ahead. on the chin for FY17. So I hope that, the, I think the thing that we have going for us is people recognize that the Highway Patrol and public safety is a core function of government. So when it comes to making those difficult choices, I hope we're prioritized to the, po to the point to where we're getting um, our, our funding to be able to, the, the Michael Van shooting, you know, that trooper, Brian Costanza, mm -hmm. he drove 234 miles from Okmulgee to Western Oklahoma. Patrol's gonna be there to the extent that it can. We just want to do the things that we need to do for the state of Oklahoma. Absolutely, Commissioner Michael Thompson with DPS, thank, thank you so you much for much. being very with nice us today. To we appreciate your time and definitely a topic uh, with Real ID that a lot of people are concerned about and, and want to know more about. So we appreciate you coming in today. Thank you.